Jordan Fusion day number four. Are we still on track? We're going to check that with the updated plan. But more importantly, we have a decent play here, guys. There is something we can do today in a certain order that will give us a better rewards. Or should I say it's going to help us save on resources so that it makes this guy even easier to do. And this doesn't always happen this way. So this is one of those unique fusions that allows for, for something like this, right? I also want to cover the champion training event because we have Hoforis in there and he's relatively easy to get or so i thought but then i looked at the previous champion training events turns out this is not exactly as easy as i thought it was going to be but anyway let's check all of that in today's video right now So the last two days have been fairly uneventful, but today we finally have two major things to work on, which is the champion training event. And let's quickly look at this because the milestone rewards in here are really, really decent. I say decent because they're relatively low compared to the previous ones. And I have a few screenshots here for you guys, which I'll show you right away. This is, for example, Vergumkar. The epic champion was at almost 20,000 points to get this guy. And some of the rares were at 10,000 points. Yet Hofori here is at 10,000 points himself, right? And this is an epic champion. So I thought, wow, this is absolutely fantastic. I'm going to tell everybody to do this because it doesn't really happen this often. Then I looked at, let's say, I believe this one is Pixniel. We had the champion at 12,750 points, the epic champion. So again, I thought, okay, th this is good. They're really easing up on the fusions. They're finally understanding the message that sometimes, you know, it's just too much. You gotta, you gotta stop. And then finally, we looked at the Astralon and we had the a uh, rare void champion at 7150 points so again i thought wow this is this is fantastic but we have a shorter amount of time to complete this so if you break down the amount of points you need per day you only have five days really to complete this champion a training event this is relatively hard it's actually kind of on par with the other ones right the one from Vergumkar was at um 20 000 points but you had 11 days to complete this okay so it made it sort of easy in a sense because you had so much time to do it so here again unfortunately it is kind of on par but what we can do here guys today is to focus on this before the fire knight tournament and the fire knight tournament does have uh, one of the rares in there obviously which is relatively low here as well so again i'm surprised that the milestone rewards uh, or the, the the points are relatively low compared to some of the other ones so again maybe they are easing up on the fusions which is fantastic but Here's what I want to caution you guys with is that you should today focus on your champion training event instead of the Fire Knight tournament. Of course, that is assuming you're kind of done with the Dungeon Divers, the first Dungeon Divers event, and you got your first Odachi, I guess he's called, from that event. The reason we want to do this here, guys, is that tomorrow we're going to have the Champion Chase Tournament. And you know how that works. If you do extra fusions, that counts as points towards the Champion Chase Tournament. So if you are a little bit tight on your shards, what you could do is to try and push today to do as much as you can in the champion training event to get yourself the Mycolas, I believe he's called, uh, which is the rare avoid champion. And that will allow you to do your first fusion, right? So if you manage to get here and hopefully you've been saving up, like I've been telling you guys to do extra energy, just sitting here, I, I have to burn this, all of this today. Yes, it could go for the Fire Knight tournament, but again, I don't necessarily need to do that right now. I can do the Fire Knight tournament tomorrow for the next two days. That still works if you're doing stage 20 dungeons maybe even stage 16 dungeons would work hopefully you have a lot of food saved up so if you do that you're going to get a mycolas then you can do your fusions tomorrow or during the champion chase tournament assuming you level this guy up to level 40 you fully ascend him assuming you have your potions ahead of time you can fuse your first epic uh, champion void right and that is going to give you 350 points for a champion chase tournament not a bad deal that's almost a sacred shard so if you were a little bit on budget again and you didn't really have extra sacred shards for this 2x sacred event what you could do for the champion chase tournament is that one fusion then maybe you have an extra legendary fusion just sitting there. That's an extra 500 points. Then you can finish off with mystery shards, literally not even having to use sacred shards. Again, if you don't have any, this is a great plan for you guys. You can save on that. Personally, I do have a couple extra fusions that I can do. And yes, it's a 2x sacred event. Yes, opening my sacred shards would be wise, but I don't have a whole lot. I can save this for the next 2x event, or I can save this for the summon rush, assuming I wouldn't have enough of the other shards. Okay, guys, so 
do take this into consideration. I really believe you guys should make this play first. It's just going to be a little bit cheaper on the resources. And like if you fuse these guys after the champion chase tournament, well, you're just losing out on points anyway. And you have to do it before the end of this anyway. So this is your only window to get points for a fusion of one of the epics and you can do the one you want so go ahead and do this avoid epic champion now you don't have to exactly do this i will give you one more option here guys if you're not comfortable with trying to do the fire knight tournament in two days so if you don't want to risk the first day and you're let's say trying to finish the dungeon divers event you get more points from doing a fire knight tournament than you do from farming the campaign for food for example okay so maybe you want to do that for three days tomorrow we have another option of getting a mycolis so if you summon first thing let's say in the morning as soon as this is live and you manage to get your 1150 points with a mix of sacred shards and i do say 500 mystery shards here i had not really added this but in there but it is kind of factored in uh let's say you already have that legendary fusion thing great like you might not need to use all your sacred shards is what i'm saying so instead you could try to like do this here over the course of like these two days and you could eventually fuse uh your uh scathics i believe he's called over the three days of the champion chase tournament right so again it really just depends on what kind of resources you have saved up if you're not too worried then maybe wait for your first mycolis then but certainly try to take advantage of those extra 350 points for fusing one of the epics during this champion chase tournament okay guys this does not happen often this was today's big message so do let me know what you think in the comments below what are you going first are you going for hoforis i guess that's the last big question here like he does look really really solid i'm not gonna lie hoforis here is a great champion for the skinwalkers and i mean like look at those tusks right Th those are some mighty tusks right there this is a great champ but no all kidding aside uh, a big reviver like this for the skinwalkers is unseen and then you also have increased attack and crit rate this is huge a stun on the a1 any resistance aura for basically all battles so great 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 champion if you need the help for faction wars uh for the skinwalkers to get to lydia go for this guy absolutely worth it let me know what you think in the comments below thank you so much for watching and i'll catch you guys later